For those of you with height mobility and chronic pain, especially things like POTS, we did mention a while ago about carbon dioxide levels and how when your CO2 gets a little bit too low, it can be more difficult to get the oxygen out of your blood, which obviously is gonna come with a lot of issues. So for those of you who do get a lot of air hunger, constantly yawning, having to take massive breaths, especially when you're talking, you have asked, well, how do we test if my CO2 tolerance is lower than it should be? So this is a really, really simple way to test it. I'm gonna explain it first, and then I want you guys to do it with me, okay? We have things called chemoreceptors that detect things like carbon dioxide and pH levels. Those chemoreceptors kick in and they go, whoa, time to take a big breath in, okay? So if you've caught something like COVID and you've spent you know, a couple of months oh, taking massive breaths in, our brains and bodies are very, very plastic. And what happens is your tolerance for how much CO2 you can have in your blood can get a little bit lower than it should do. So when you recover from things like COVID, and you start to get back in exercise, as you start taking big breaths, you know, and you start forcing your body to work more, it's pushing CO2 further down. It also means when you're just sitting relaxing, doing nothing, essentially, you're always in that stressed state. Your CO2 is very low, and you know, it's harder to get the oxygen out of the blood. It's a whole thing. So a good way to test if your tolerance for CO2 is a little bit lower than it should be, is to just take a normal breath, Okay, not a huge, just a in, out, and hold. So we go in, out, hold. And we're counting one Mississippi, two Mississippi, but we're not trying to see how long we can hold our breath for. We are trying to see the first signs of air hunger. When is that first urge? I want to take a gasp in, not a, oh, you know, what's going on? It's the first urge to breathe. So all you do is take a breath in, out, Ideally, we do want more than 10, guys, okay? If you're around the three or four, even five mark, it does show that your tolerance for CO2 in your body is very low. So then, you know, there's a big chance you have had things like COVID or, you know, you've been in pain for a long time and through plasticity and changes, that CO2 has been pushed down. So have a go, guys. Let me know how you get on. And if it's something that a lot of people are like, yep, that is definitely me. I'm always yawning all of the time and I'm always stressed out about it. Then we can start to look about how we increase that tolerance for CO2.